All right, so let's go ahead and find some space on our mat. Bring your feet about shoulder width or maybe even wider apart. Once your feet are shoulder width or wider apart, I just want you to shake it out. So feel free to just kind of like shake it out, whatever, whatever shake it out means to you. So I'm gonna do a couple hip circles, get weird, get silly. Why? Because it's Monday. Sometimes you just have to shake off the, the dust of the weekend. And then keep your feet wide apart. Just kind of move your feet around so you can feel yourself making connection on your mat. I'm wearing shoes. Shoes are not a requirement. So if you want to wear shoes, awesome. If you don't, awesome. Take your arms, sweep them up and over the head. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Just let your whole body just sway, maybe left to right, right to left. Neutralize the spine and roll yourself to stand nice and slow. So try not to come up too fast. I don't want you to feel lightheaded. Do it again. Deep breath in, reach the arms up and overhead. And exhale, fold. Good. Maybe nod the head up and down. Maybe nod the head right to left. Bend your knees pretty healthily and roll your rise. Let your head be last. Last time, inhale up. Exhale, fold, final time. In the fold, maybe the fingertips come to the floor. Maybe you bend one knee and then the other knee. Maybe you don't do any of that, and that's totally okay too. Good, from here, roll to rise. Again, let the head be the last thing to stack. Awesome. Everybody, let's come on over to our playlist. We're going to hit play as a team in four, three, two, one. Hit it. And then walk your way back to your mat. We're getting started with our four minute warm up. So I'm going to start with my feet together, roll my shoulders back, calf raise to a side squat, calf raise up, side squat right, calf raise up. Side squat left, calf raise up, side squat right again, calf raise up, side squat left, a little faster. So if you're on the tempo, great. If you're not, that's great too. I'm adding a little arm swing here because eventually we're gonna be doing some straight arm kickbacks today. I do have some good news for you. No push up required. So let's go one more over to our right and one more over to our left. Good, from here, step your feet a little wider apart, bend into the right knee first. So we're gonna drop into that right knee, rise, drop into the left knee. So you're kind of sticking your butt out. As I drop into my hips, my knee stays behind my toes. So my feet are wide apart, drop in, squeeze, drop, and squeeze. Good, we're gonna add the arms a little more significantly. Reach and pull, reach and pull. So from the front, my elbows are right along my chest line. Whew. Careful that you're not elevating your shoulders so there's no shrug involved. Whew. One more time over to the right. One more time over to the left. And step your feet together. Give me a little jog in place. Yeah. If you're not jumping, I'm always a proponent of low impact. So feel free to march it out or step tap. Four, three, two, walk your way to the back of your mat. Bring your feet about shoulder width apart, hinge at the waist. So you feel that stretch to the back side of the leg, your hamstring. Walk it out to plank. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Take your right arm, reach it up. Take your left arm, reach it up. Feet on the hands isn't working. Maybe have a little bench step in front of you, be on the forearms for this. Good, neck is nice and long. One more time on the right arm, one more time on the left arm. Set the knees down. From here, I'm gonna lift off the knees, twist, come back through center and twist. So again, if being on the hands isn't working, again, maybe a forearm plank with an elevated flooring, such as a stepper or a stool. Do it one more time per side, over to the right and over to the left. Sit on your glutes, slide your heels right in front of you, arms reach forward, roll yourself down. Good, plant the heels, take the arms back over the chest, give me a little hip, 
thrust, pump, last eight, squeeze the seat, almost there for four, three, two, hold it up, reach overhead, pull forward, reach overhead, pull forward, two more, inhale up, and exhale, pull, final one, reach up, exhale, pull, slowly set the hips back down, Hands behind the head, small crunch, lift and lower. If you feel any pressure on the neck, well, instead of a crunch, feel free to just push your back into the mat. Push, release. So notice I can still do some sort of abdominal work without putting any pressure on the back of my neck. Three, two, and one. Hug the knees in, rock yourself up to a standing position, bring yourself over to your computer screen. Everybody give each other a quick virtual high five. We're going to get started with cardio today. So turn yourself so you've got that left hip forward. 45 seconds. Side squat, knee. Side squat, knee. Come with me. Inhale. As I come through, I'm twisting my torso over my left hip. So if I were showing you this from the side, this is my camera lens, squat down, twist. Don't worry, I won't hang with me, she's dark. She's dark on my dark mat, so I'm like, whoa. All of a sudden I just saw her in the frame. Good, so what do you think's happening in our second 45? The other side, switch it. So now, right hip forward. Side squat, rotation. Now in the second round, if I wanted to make it harder, I could add a little dumbbell, right? For right now, let's crawl before we walk, before we run, before we sprint. Squat down, twist. Inhale, exhale, pull. Like you're taking something and you're putting it right in the back pocket of a pair of jeans. Yeah, this looks gorgeous. How are we feeling? Are you breathing? Are you smiling? Are you having fun? At least doing one of those. Good. Drop and twist. Four, three, two. Good. Here we go. We have four cross jumps. One, two, three, four. With four uppercuts. One, two. These are big old exaggerated uppercuts. All right, come with me. If you're not jumping, Here's what's up, four uppercuts, two heel digs, heel, heel, come back, four uppercuts. So my low impact team, boom, boom, upper, 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 otherwise cross four times, three, four, land wide. See how my hip is driving towards the side, squeeze my butt, three, two, one, okay, here's the hardest one. Feet nice and wide apart. Hand to the floor, jump it back, jump it in, rise. Other hand to the floor, jump it back, jump it in and rise. If you're not jumping, try stepping back. If being on the hands isn't working, instead of jumping back and forward, give me a little hop back and forward. If you're not jumping at all, step forward, step back, step forward, step back. The key here is just to keep moving. So if something I've given you isn't working for your body, I say march in place, nice and quick. Channel your inner Beverly Goldberg. This is three, two, and that's a rest. So those of you that got here a hair after I explained this, five blocks. This block is the cardio block. Body weight, if you wanna add a weight, I'm gonna add a five for the first activity. We only have 10 seconds till we get started. Let's get it started here. So I said I'd add load, I'm adding load. Right foot forward this time, side squat, rise and pocket, squat, pocket. Inhale, exhale, make it rain, drop. Again, this is not a requirement. If you don't have a weight, this is just as challenging and effective. 
active as having a weight. Push the air out of the mouth. Really get that blood pumping in the body. Also, when you're pushing that air out, you're activating your abs. So you're welcome there. Finish this out and go to side two and three. Two and one. Flip the front foot. Side squat. Pocket. Can you see behind that left shoulder? Can you see behind it? Drop down. Who's checking out your sweet yes jeans? Yes. If the neck doesn't love the twist, I stay ahead. Drop into your squat. Twist with the torso. So my focal point stays forward, but I still get the rotation through the thoracic spine, yes? Yes. Drop down. Super close. Last one. Drop off your weight somewhere you know where it's at. All right, next piece. Cross, hop. Three and four, land with your feet wide. Drop, yes. And remember, modification here would be heel dig, heel dig. One, two, three, four. Progression here, ballerina jump, land it. One, two, three, and four. I'll show you that progression again. Both feet lead the floor, cross, 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 land right. Let that air out. Two and one, tripod bird be no push up. Feet at the back of the mat, hand comes down, other hand on the lower back. Jump the feet out, jump the feet in, rise. Mandy, I can't seem to get that single arm balance. Do both hands. You know, not every day is perfect. Some days I don't feel super strong. So I think the moral of the story here is stay moving, stay breathing, and stay the course. You've got this. You've got this. We can do this together. Good. Good. Three, two, and that's the end of your second round in block one. Now, here's the good news. We're done with that block. Here's the bad news. We put that into block three, combining block two. So it's not the last time you see those movements. Yes, give me a head nod. Yes, okay. So let's talk block two. This is our strength block. We're gonna be on the floor. So come on down to your flooring with me and grab your two lighter medium weights. I'm grabbing fives. Okay, doc. Isometric bridge. What does that mean? My hips stay lifted. I'm gonna open and close my arms for a fly right along the chest, not the jawline not the navel. Why would I say that? We want to target right across the midline of the, or spread across the chest line of the frame so we get our chest group. Not way up here by our neck, okay? Starting in three, two, and one. Heels down, hips up. That's the way we like to isometrically bridge. Open and pull. Now you can move quicker than me. You can move slower than me. What's important here? Back of the head and the neck are on the floor. So if you feel yourself like, oh, I'm, something's up with my neck, try to keep that back of your neck glued into your mat. So hips are up, but upper back and neck are down, okay? Why is that gonna become important? Because in a moment, we're gonna start moving that bridge with alternating arms. And I'll show you what's up with the arm work here in two and one. Awesome, keep the arms over the chest. Then from here, I'm gonna drop the right arm towards the ground, pull, left arm towards the ground. And notice when I pull, I lift my hips. Inhale overhead, exhale, pull back through center. Inhale overhead, exhale, pull. So from a little bit of a diagonal here, I reach up, oops, I forgot to drop my hips, reach up, and pull. So every time I reach up with one arm, my hips drop to the floor. Inhale and exhale. A little note about today's playlist. 
It's a lot of rock. I like to mix and match. I like to make everybody equally unhappy with my music choices. This is three, this is two, and that's one. Drop the hips, bring the weights into the chest, rock yourself up. Good, now from here, grab your single heavier dumbbell. You're gonna crush it with your hands, extend your legs straight to the ground. Good, bring the weight to your heart, roll yourself up, overhead press, roll yourself back down. Exhale, lift yourself up to an L position, press and roll down. If that is too much, stay down or stay up and just press. So for example, if the sit up part is like making your neck whip, don't do the sit up, just do this part. Yeah? Good, three, two, and one. Final bit of strength, we're gonna be in a kneeling position. Grab your uh, two medium dumbbells. Push the arms back and then squeeze them together. So my arms are beyond my hips. My upper body is slightly pitched forward. I'm drawing my shoulder blades down and back. I'm gonna turn to the back here. Can you physically get the heads of the dumbbell to click together? And maybe the answer is no. That's all right. Good, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Set one done, you have 25 seconds to rest. We do it all again. Now, if you feel like you can go heavier, I say grab a heavier set of dumbbells. I'm gonna stay with my fives. And on the sit up and press, I'm gonna keep the fives and add in a little something. Do it with me or don't your call. So come back down to your isometric or static bridge, palms face the thighs. Palm, excuse me, palms face in, that's my bad. Open and close. And let's see if we can move the arms at the same range of motion, AKA how large we're moving, but maybe we add a little calf raise, lift and lower. Maybe you add a little speed. Are you squeezing your seat muscles? If the answer to this question is I'm not sure or no, can you lift your hips a little higher and squeeze your, your beautiful butt cheeks together? Yes, four, three, two. Good, heels come back down to the floor. Right arm reaches overhead. And then as you drop the hips, I keep forgetting this one, lift. Inhale, everything comes back through the center. Inhale, Whew. right? So say for example, hey man, I'm using these fives and I'm not really feeling much. Well then in that case, let's do both arms together. Let's lower those hips and pull the arms. Maybe you grab your single heavy. For me, that would be two more pounds. That's one more pound per arm. So I could still advance this in round three, right? In my third block. Just ideas, right? This is three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna keep my fives, extend my legs straight, ground my heels, turn my palms forward, sit myself up, press twice, come back down and release. Sit myself up, press twice, right? And so when I'm doing that, it's a military press. My palms face forward. Then I bring it back into my heart. I roll down. I rise up. I'm keeping the length in my spine though. I'm not rounding my back. I'm sticking them out like a bottom, right? 10 more seconds. How slow can you set your spine? Back down to the floor. Two, one, and time. Last effort. Upper body kneeling behind the back squeeze. Can you kneel and lean a little further? Can you lift the arms up a little further beyond the hips? Woo! Holy cannoli. So again, from the back, beyond your butt cheeks beyond your butt cheeks, right? So if it's too much to be kneeling, maybe I stand up. I'm breathing, I'm smiling, I've got eight more seconds. 
We look good, we're feeling good, we're smelling okay. This is three, this is two, and that is one. That's a rest of a minute. So strike your set, towel off, do you. For me, I'm putting all my weights at that corner of my mat because that way, when I move into our third block, we start with cardio, we're gonna be right hip forward for the squat, okay? All right. Ooh. Sip of water. Where is my water? Oh, there it is. You guys, I bought myself this mug. If you're not an um, office fan, then you probably won't get it. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. I love it. Okay, my friends, all good things must come to an end, aka our rest is over. So come on back down to mat, to your mat, and we'll start with that right hip forward, okay? Three, two, one, I'm gonna not use my weight. Side squat, pocket. Drop into your squat as deeply as you can. Notice, maybe even wiggle your toes in this position. You don't want the knees to be way far in front of you. You don't want your heels to be off the floor. Think of your heels being screwed into the floor. So they don't lift unless I'm lifting the whole foot, okay? All right, drop and push. Start to find that rhythm with your breathing and I'll tell you, it's like a light bulb goes off for yourself. It'll really help you. Use that rhythmic breath to stay in rhythm and time of your movement. Three, two, switch your sides. Opposite lead leg, step it out, twist, step, twist. Third block right here. So we're in our cardio portion. We only do one round of each. We've got four moves, 45 seconds each, no rest between. 30 second rest between in the round and then minute rest at the end of the round. <sighs> Lots of math. That's why I use the app to do my math for me. <sighs> I even color coded it. Woo! Eight seconds. My standing leg, my right leg is starting to really burn. Three, two, one. Okay, third piece of cardio. Four cross hops. Land wide. One, two, three, four, like you're fighting a big giant, right? This is exercise as written. Modification, two cross heel digs. Land the feet wide, four uppers. Big uppers, exaggerated ones. Progression, four ballerina jumps land wide and low. I wanna see a little more power on your upper. You're using the hip. Three, two, tripod burpee last time. Hand to the floor, jump it back, rise, switch. Now, if you're feeling like you can do more, can you add a little push up? So I land my hand, I bend my elbow a little bit, wow. Rise up and switch. It's a lot harder than maybe even it looks, right? Notice if your shoulder's coming out of its socket, bend at your elbow. My first one, I felt my shoulder, I was like, that's not good for me. Three, two, that's the end of block three's first round. So in the second round, we do the second block strength, which means we'll need our dumbbells. So right now, catch your breath. Tell yourself something good. One, you made it here. That's huge. Monday, tough day to do this. I've been kind of wavering on what I do with this Monday class. So, all right, palms face each other, hips up, heels lift. Keep them lifted this time. Let's try it this way. So my heels could stay lifted, popped off the ground, squeeze my butt cheeks together. I'm doing a chest fly along my chest line, not by my neck, 
not by my chin and certainly not by my hips. Good. In your next portion, option two, move the arms bilaterally to add a challenge of weight, okay? But if you have heavier dumbbells and you're doing alternating arms, that's actually hard. So if you're using say tens, do the alternating arms. Okay, here we go. Drop the heels down, lower the hips, extend the arms overhead, technically a flex. Don't hit your plants. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. So from the back, I'm lowering down, dropping my hips, lifting my hips, drawing my groin and my dumbbells towards each other. Sounds like a Monday to me. <laughs> Exhale, push. Technically a pull. Awesome, we've got about 15 more seconds. Wiggle those toes. Set your spine down one vertebra at a time. Yeah? And then push into the mat, squeeze to lift. You got it. Three, two, extend the legs straight. Flex the feet. Bring the weights to the heart. Lift yourself up, double press. Not a necessity, bring them back in, roll down. Can you take more time on the way down? <sighs> Open the arms up, double press. Double rainbow, come back through center. Yeah. <sighs> Flex your feet. Ground the heels. Neck long, right? So if I'm feeling this in my neck, what's the alternative? I stay seated, maybe even cross my legs, and I just focus on the upper body strength. If overhead press isn't working, maybe try right and alignment with your sides of the face. So there's always an answer. Always ask if you're unsure. Two and one. Last exercise in our strength. So we're finishing block number three. <sighs> arms are straight. So if you're starting to bend the elbows to touch, think about keeping those arms softly bent, right? I'm never locking any joints here. If being in a kneeling position is not working for the knees, I can do this just as easily. Slightly pitched forward, bracing my abdominals, squeezing the palms towards each other behind my lower back and my seat. What would Rihanna do? Two and one, okay, good. So rest, you've earned it. Set your weights down, strike your set, towel off, and we'll talk about block three. Okay, yay. So block three, excuse me, block four. We're back to our cardio. Good news. We learned totally new cardio movements. Yay! Awesome. So the first one, in my opinion, is probably about as hard as the tripod burpee, just for me. Okay, so hands will be down, knees will be lifted. I kick through, I reach for that foot and hand. I return and I switch. If this doesn't feel good on your shoulders, I want you to sit on your hips, take it right to left, left to right here, okay? So there's always an alternative. That's the alternative for exercise number one in our cardio portion. Exercise two, we're standing. We have one roundhouse kick and two snaps to the side, okay? Let's talk about it when we get there. Round one of block four starts now. Knees off the floor, twist and switch. The faster you can do this, the more cardiovascular it is. However, if it gets sloppy, start over, right? So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, twist it. Return and twist, return and twist. Really spread your hands out. Make them right along the chest line. If they're way up here, holding yourself up in this position is just harder. Don't make it harder on yourself. Stack the joints to make it as easy and efficient as you can. Stand up. Right leg. I'm gonna move that right leg. So it's a big roundhouse kick. Land in the curtsy, two snaps. Big roundhouse. Two snaps, balance kick, balance kick, land it. Roundhouse around, land in the curtsy. Two snaps. What's a snap kick? The snap kick, I point the toe, shoelaces face the, the camera forward. So, roundhouse, snap, snap. Return the foot. Whoop. 
I feel a lot of work in my oblique of my right. Two and one, switch the sides. Balancing on the right, now left leg, big circle, land it, kick, kick. Show this to you from the side. Fan kick or a roundhouse, snap, snap, land it. In our second round, I'm gonna offer up the option to not land that foot. For right now, as you can see, I'm struggling with my balance, right? Then use it. If you need a wall to help you out, use your wall. Crawl, walk, run, sprint, right? Two and one. Okay, last thing to know. Oh yeah, two hamstring curls. And then we're gonna do, bah, 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 bah. oh, I love this one. So hand one, hand two. Come down, reach for the floor. Come down, reach for the floor. So if you wanna kick it, land low, reach, rise, reach. So option one, two hamstring curls, low impact. Come down, touch the floor, reach. Come down, touch the floor, reach other side. If you wanna space jam it a little more challenging, Two jumps, land low, reach, rise, reach, rise. Time. That's your learning phase. So if you, like me, struggled and made it all like awkward, that's great. Because now you're going to get an opportunity to fine tune it, rest. Those of you that are still moving, if you want to move, great. We go again in 12 seconds. So move smart, move well, and breathe. Where do we start? On the floor, on the hands. Three, two, kick throughs. Knees off the floor, reach, and switch. You're twisting your whole chest to the side. Mandy, I think I'm gonna do this version instead. Remember, upper body stays lifted. Reach, return, switch so i'm really working my abdominals the strength of my back i'm squeezing my shoulder blades together in that seated position otherwise i'm up i'm keeping my shoulder pocketed protected and i'm twisting my whole upper body from right to left a lot of thoracic rotation in today's workout rise to stand good i'm going to bring it into that fan kick Double snap. Maybe I come back to that single leg balance. Fan kick. Double snap. Remember the option here is to not let that right foot land. Right? It's hard. And I'm not perfect. Never claimed to be. In fact, I think it's actually nice to watch an instructor struggle and maintain poise, maintain grace, and that positive mindset that you can and you will. Switch your sides, please. Big fan kick. Try not to land that foot. Snap it up, snap it again. Return to that single leg balance. Big fan kick. Snap it up, one, Woo. two. So if that foot, can really root into the floor on the right. Left leg can travel. Maybe I even lean or cheat my body a little bit to that right side. Or not, right? I stay upright. Two snaps. Return. Fan kick open. Two snaps. Mandy, I'm not feeling the cardio. I want you to breathe. This is three. This is two. Last challenge in the cardio, two hamstring curls or two heel kicks. Then from here, reach and touch, reach and touch so you're bending both knees. Come with me again, land light, reach, reach. So when you drop into your hips, one fingertip set reaches for the floor, the other one reaches for the ceiling, rise and squeeze. The other side, rise and squeeze. Maybe it's hamstring curls. One, two, land and reach. 
land and reach. If you can remember to alternate your sides lead, great. If you can't, totally great. Three, two, and one. Rest. Okay. So we finished block four. We have one more block to go. The good news about a blout, blocks four and five is we don't have a block six where we put the two together. We just do two rounds of the cardio, which we just finished. And we do one more block, two rounds of strength in about 25 seconds. So let's talk. You're gonna move into one single dumbbell. So I'm back to my 12. This one is probably the hardest one for folks to grasp. So I'm gonna place my dumbbell, right hand, right foot moves, big diagonal lunge. So this left leg stays pointed forward. Then from here, I step it in a little bit, I hinge and I rise. Three, two, one, open it up. Big diagonal lunge, foot kickstands, hinge, rise. Go slow with me. Knee stays straight, step it in, hinge, rise. If you want to place your hand on the small of your back, sometimes that's nice too. Diagonal lunge to the back corner of your room. Kickstand leg with that right foot. Watch my back. Back stays flat. Back stays flat. Back stays flat. Right? Switch the dumbbell. Switch your leg to the back corner, toes down on the right, kickstand that left foot, hinge, rise, step, kickstand, hinge, rise, boom, boom, heel is down on the right foot, heel is rised on the back foot. You got 13 seconds. Again, seeing my back body, right? Diagonal step back, toes down, hips, pull. Second or third, technically. You're gonna find a calf raise here. Keep the calf raise, bring the weight right in front of the hips, fast curl. I feel like I have a shake weight. Elbows pinned to the ribs. How high can you get those heels? I want them as high as Lady Gaga wears. I think she wears like eight inch heels, or she used to back in like the day. Feels like it was like two years ago, but I'm seriously thinking about paparazzi. So it's like what, 12 years ago? More than that? I don't even know. I'm embarrassed to admit it. Three, two, one, final bit of Strength, drop off your 12. Find heels down, toes lifted, bend your elbows, kick it back. I want your elbows beyond your rib cage. So not right here. Pull them up first, stick your chest out, wiggle your toes. Neck is long, so if I'm looking here, text neck, no. Keep it nice and long. Toes lifted, you can see your toes. Can you sink lower in your chair? Yep, if it bothers the knees, a little higher up does a body good. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now you've learned your strength. For the shake weight series, if you wanna grab your two lighter dumbbells, you could, and we could do a little fast alternating thing. Um, it might look a little, uh, inappropriate, but eh, you're working out. This is fun. All right. Eight seconds. Pick up your heavy dumbbell. Timer starts in three. I'm going to start with that on my left. Two and one. Good. Diagonal lunge back. Kickstand. Hinge. Rise. If I want to make this harder, hand behind the ear on that uh, right side. Bring it down. Pull it in. Hinge. Make sure this knee is not locked out. 
You want to keep it softly bent so you don't feel it later in the back of the knee, which is not an area that we typically ever train. Shoulders stay level. So if you see yourself dropping here, keep them nice and broad. Good, nine more seconds. Let's do one more. Four, three, two, switch the feet. Awesome. Big diagonal to the back wall. Come back through kickstand. Hinge, rise again. Advanced, hand behind the ear. Drop through, rise up, back stays long. So if you're coming into that diagonal squat, or lunge rather, and you're like doing one of these, stick your chest out, stick your butt out, pull the abs in, rise it up with power, hinge and pull to rise. Squeeze your butt. Right, if I'm just rising up and I'm not squeezing my butt, where do you think it's going? A little more of the lower back, which is, I mean, we do want to train the lower back, but can't we use our butt too? Yes. Three, two. So for me, I'm going to drop off my heavy, bring it into the lights, heels up, arms together, or I can alternate the arms pretty quick. So from the side, I'm here. Can you imagine between your heels, you're trying to squeeze a Black American Express. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze. If you're not squeezing your butt and your calf raise, maybe, give me a call. I'm gonna help you. I'll squeeze your butt for you. Just kidding. Back, back up here. Lift them higher. Woo. Five, four, three, Two, keep the weights, find your chair. Now heels are down, toes are up. Bend those elbows back. Roll those shoulders back in. And away we go. Neck is long. So for me, my eye line is here. I'm looking right where my mat meets bud. That's bud, by the way. It was a birthday gift from my husband. Good. Can you take a moment at the top of this? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're done in four, three, two. Set your dumbbells down, baby, because you just made it. Rest, beautiful work. 115 on the button. So if you need to leave, I totally get it. It's Monday, we have a lot going on. But if you can stick around for like two minutes of stretch, that'd be amazing, all right? Um, high five me if you're going. If you're sticking around, let's go ahead and stretch a doodle do. So, awesome work. Stay standing. Get a ton in the middle of the frame. So bring your arms out wide. Give yourself a hug. Good. Try to really walk the fingers closer to the middle of the back. Then lift the elbows up. Good, if that's not enough, feel free to bring it into your hands. For me, this is plenty today. My shoulders are really tight. So, you know, just making good choices for me. Open up and switch the arms. Really important that we just kind of pay mind to how we're feeling, even if you're the one leading class. <laughs> but elbows can lift a little bit if that feels okay on the shoulder heads. And then open back up. Let's roll those shoulders open and roll them to close. Two more, one more. Turn the toes out, drop into that low yogi squat. So for me, this feels good. Some people it doesn't. So if you wanna place your hands on your knees and just make it a little less deep, that might feel good. Good, everybody meet me here. Bring the fingertips inside and then drop the shoulder of the right and then drop the shoulder of the left. Let's do it one more time each side. Super abbreviated stretch here. Good, rise to stand. Step the feet in. Once you've got that, dig the heel down on the right, pull the toes towards your face and sit back. Good, once you do that, maybe grab the toes with your fingers. If you can't reach for the toes, hands on the hips, just pull those toes with your mind. Rise and switch. Right, so my heels are dug into the floor. Both heels are touching the floor. Yeah, square your shoulders. You can hold it or not. Rise up. 
Good. Find balance for, if you'd like to use a, a balancing tool, you can. Why? Because this is the end of the workout. We don't have to work on the balance necessarily. See how my hips are back? I'm going to tuck them underneath my seat. So now I'm stacking. And then I'm going to switch my legs. Nice little quads. Stretch. Tuck my seat. So I've shortened the imaginary suspenders in the front of my frame. Mm -hmm. Release. Good. Last bit, and we'll call it a day. Bring your feet nice and wide apart. Soften the knees, reach the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, clasp the hands behind the back. Open the chest once more. Fold forward, send the knuckles to the sky. Let the head hang. Maybe shake it off side to side. Slowly release the clasp of the hands and roll yourself up to stand tall, head last. All right. That was it. That's Mondays with Mandy. Have a fabulous rest of your week ahead. Let me know if you have questions. Um, I will say this. Uh, every Monday, you're welcome, Mary. I release a new video on YouTube. So if you haven't started looking at my YouTube and you can't make a Monday class, go check out my Monday's releases on YouTube. They're free, they're full length. Share them with everybody you can possibly think of, if you will. And I will see you guys soon. Hey.